Today we will discuss about how to extract data through pivot table. Tally Prime provides a comprehensive daybook for sales information in the sales register. The sales or purchase register can be exported in Excel to be compatible to generate a pivot table. This is so that the user may generate reports of various combinations based on specific requirements. This will eliminate the need for customization of the existing reports to prepare sales or purchase data in the required format. From the gateway of Tally, press Alt plus G, then select Sales Register and press Enter. Alternatively, go to the gateway of Tally, go to Display More Reports, select Account Books, then select Sales Register. The sales register screen appears as shown. By default, all registers display the monthly summary with transactions and closing balances. Select a month and press enter to open the voucher register screen, where a list of all sales vouchers is displayed. Press Alt plus E, then press Enter on Current to export the Sales Register for Pivot Table from the Sales Voucher Register screen. Press C, that is Configure, and set the option given in the screen. Ensure that the encoding language is set to default. If you do not see this option, then click Show More. Set Excel in the file format from the list of file formats displayed. Press Enter to change the worksheet name if required. Sales Register appears as the default worksheet name. Set Yes for export for pivot table to generate the pivot table once the report has been exported to Excel. Please note, this option appears only when the sales or purchase voucher register is exported and when the company is maintaining accounts with inventory. In the screen, there are options that appear only when export to pivot table is enabled so that you can configure them when generating pivot table reports. Set yes to show stock item properties to show the item properties such as alias, part number, description, remarks and so on. Set yes to show ledger properties to show the ledger properties such as alias, group, notes and so on. Set yes to show GST details to show the GST details such as GST, HSN and so on. Set yes to show dispatch details such as dispatch dock number, dispatch through and so on. Set yes to show order details such as order number, terms of delivery and so on as needed. Set yes to show export or import details to display export related details in the pivot table. Set yes to show company name in case you want the company name column to be used. Set yes in update existing file to update the existing file. Set yes 
for show formatted Excel to format the content of the file. Set the destination for export to by default. The destination is set to local drive. Specify the folder path. By default, the exported file will be stored in C program files tally prime. Press enter to change the file name if required. XLSX appears as the default file name. Ensure that open file after export is set to yes to open the excel file once it is exported. Press Ctrl plus A to save the export configuration settings. Press E to export sales register vouchers to an excel file for pivot table. Open the exported file from the specified folder. The excel sheet opens as shown. Create a pivot table and set the report filter, raw labels, column labels and values based on your requirement to generate a customized report. Please note, the steps to create pivot table varies between the different versions of Microsoft Excel. The report generated from pivot table, item wise, go down wise, batch wise, party wise is shown in the screen. Please note the export for pivot table will extract the data of only those sales vouchers having inventory allocated. The procedure to export purchase register in Excel to generate pivot table is similar to that export sales register in Excel to generate pivot table as explained. Thanks for watching. Please do comment what you want to see in my next topic. Please share my videos with your nearest one and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the regular updates. You can click on the info card to watch my previous videos or you can click on the playlist from info card to know elaborately.